first pealing of the bells during the Easter fate of the Joy of Resurrection brings the residents of Mudulla's village to the centrally located ancient church of the Virgin Mary. It is a small, wooden roof, single aisle church, the oldest of its kind in Cyprus, bearing a semicircular arch. This type of church, with its very steep pitched roof covered with flat tiles, was typical of the Trodos mountain range because of its easy and economical construction. The frescoes of the Church of the Virgin Mary in Mudulas can be divided into two categories according to style and date of origin. The external murals were painted during the 14th century and reveal a strong Paleologian influence. The internal murals belong to the church's initial decoration, dating back to 1280, and comprise depictions of scenes from the life of Christ and images of various saints. The Church of St. Nicolaos de Stegis is situated near Gagopetria, in a lovely forest valley on the banks of the Garcotis River. Architecturally, the church belongs to the domed cruciform and was originally built with neither the narthex nor the second pitch roof that hides its style today. The church is the only remnant of an old monastery, which was founded in the 11th century and flourished during the mid-Byzantine period and into the Frankish rule, falling into decline in the 18th century. The church of Banayev of Yodisa, better known as Banayev of Asinu, was founded by Magistros Nigiforos Ishirios in 1099. The church is a small single vaulted building built with local volcanic stones originally covered with flat tiles and replete with frescoes painted during various eras by different iconographers. Both the iconographic and the stylistic elements which comprise the Asino paintings refer one to Constantinople. The oldest narthex fresco is Banayir for Viodisa, which is over the original entrance of the church belonging to the original 1105 cycle. In Bedulas, the Marathasa Valley's dominant village, we come across the church of Archangel Michael, a single-aisled wooden-roofed edifice featuring a semicircular protruding arch on its eastern side. This church, with its distinctive hooked roofing tiles and its double roof, is one of the most beautiful in the village. The church originally comprised only one area, but was later extended through the addition of a narthex along the south and west walls. According to the dedicatory inscription situated above the north entrance, the church was decorated in 1474 through the funding of Father Vasilios Hamados. The entire edifice is painted with the frescoes having been relatively well preserved. According to another inscription, the church was decorated in 1474 by a painter named Minas. The hagiographer Minas draws inspiration from the Macedonian school, as is apparent in the way in which he portrays vestments and the rather bulky torsos. His art, however, is simplistic and his style linear. His entire work is based on geometric lines. The monastery of Ayos Ioannis Lambadistis is built on the right banks of the Sedrachos River to the east of the village of Galobanayodis. It comprises a linked three church complex and two two story monastic buildings which constitute the eastern and western wings of the monastery. The 
the oldest section of the church still standing is the Gatholigon, dedicated to Saint Iraclidius, a domed cruciform structure. Its dimensions are relatively heavy, and the few morphological and stylistic elements preserved to this day suggest that it was built in the 11th century. In the 12th century, the chapel of Ayos Ioannis was built. For reasons unknown, it later collapsed and was rebuilt during Ottoman rule. The second half of the 15th century saw the construction right up against the north wall of the chapel dedicated to St. John Lambadistis, the so-called Latin or Akathist hymn chapel, in which we encounter all the artistic trends which prevailed in the 16th century. At the southern edge of Palendri village we come across the Church of the Holy Cross, in its present form, the church is a result of several additions and interventions carried out at various times. Originally, a small single aisle dome hall church was built shortly after the middle of the 12th century and was decorated with frescoes in 1178. The adornment of the main section of the church, which took place during the first half of the 14th century, is the work of at least three artists, who however belong to the same college. The first adheres to the Paleologian style developed in Constantinople in the 13th and 14th centuries. The second is more linear, employing a stylistic and less meticulous approach. The third one follows the local tradition of Byzantine painting as this developed in the 14th century, with his work focusing more on depictions of scenes from the life of the Virgin Mary, creating the most extensive cycle of the life of the Mother of God existing in Cyprus. The church of Banayer Podithu is located near the old Galada village, in the small fertile valley of the Gargodis river. According to the dedicatory inscription, the church was built in 1502 by the Greek military officer Demetrius de Coron. The church is surrounded in its three sides by a later yew portico, sheltered by the same steep pitched roof. The church was never completely adorned with wall paintings, frescoes today exist primarily in the sanctuary. The main arch features the Virgin Mary enthroned with Christ on her lap. Flanking her are the two archangels dressed in resplendently embroidered raiments and bearing candles, bowing with piety and paying homage. Further down, in two tableaux, one notices the Apostles' Communion, complete with the passing of the bread and wine. These wall paintings are considered some of the finest examples of the Italo-Byzantine school in Cyprus. In the crucifixion on the western wall, both the elements which comprise it as well as the strong palette, the use of relative size and the third dimension clearly indicate the influence of the art of Italian Renaissance. At the northeasternmost point of Balejori village, one comes across the Church of the Metamorphosis of the Saviour. It is a small rectangular building ending in the east in a semicircular arch embedded in the straight wall. The arch depicts the Virgin Mary in an upright position of supplication between the archangels and is identified as the Lady of Angels. All of the icons are the work of the same artist and his students. The unknown painter of the church of the Metamorphoses of the Saviour, 
who most probably lived and worked during the third decade of the 16th century, is presented as one of the finest representatives of the Cypriot school of art. His excellence in the depiction of saints in a standing position is apparent. The technique employed is that used more commonly for movable icons, one in practice since the 14th century, even though it was not used in relation to movable icons in Cyprus until the 16th century. Panayir du Araga Church is located northwest of Lagodera village on the way to the neighboring village of Sarandi. Architecturally, the church is a single aisle dome hall with a cross shaped roof. In addition to the later frescoes dating back to the 14th and 17th centuries on the external surface of the north wall, the adornment of the Banaye du Araga Gatholigon was, according to the dedicatory inscription, funded in 1192. Of particular mention is the icon of the standing Banayir Aragyodisa holding Christ in her arms on the south wall, as well as a large inscription comprising a supplication offered by the donor, Leon Aftendis. The painter, identified by most Byzantinologists as Theodoros Absedvis, is an established artist of great talent, well versed in the artistic trends of his time. The main characteristics of his work are the tall, thin and lithe classical figures, distinguished by lively movement full of dynamism and pulse, as well as the serpentine endings of their garments fold. His colours, albeit bright, are masterfully blended, lending the entire icon a sense of colour, harmony and brilliance. Located in the northwest of the village of Bladanistasa, the Church of the Holy Cross of Ayasmadi is timber roofed and surrounded on all sides by a covered portico that is unique in Cyprus. The adornment of the church was undertaken by a Hellenized Syrian Orthodox artist, Philippos Wall, in 1494. The artist appears to have employed various techniques, featuring an abundance of influences which, however, he does not seem able to assimilate in a mature way. The upper row of his frescoes contains various biblical scenes, strongly reminiscent of miniatures of medieval manuscripts. Much closer to Byzantine tradition is the depiction in the bottom row of various saints in a standing position. A very interesting and popular figure is that of Saint Mamas riding a lion. This features the traditional Cypriot iconography with Eastern influences with the whole icon based on one incident in the life of the saint. <laughs> 